it's Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. Today we are making giardinera. Giardinera is an Italian recipe. Uh, it's basically vegetables from the garden that are preserved in a seasoned vinaigrette. And uh, there's a couple different ways to make them. Um, I've got a, a traditional Italian style, which is more of a appetizer sort of way to make it. And also Chicago style, which is how I grew up with. Um, it's much more of a condiment for sandwiches and such, um, beef sandwiches. And uh, so I'm gonna show you how to make it both ways. Uh, all right, let's get cooking. Okay, to make Italian style giardinera, uh, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna chop your vegetables like nice and chunky, and that's the one thing you'll notice a big difference between uh, Italian style giardinera and uh, Chicago style giardinera, is uh, this is really meant to be served as more of a, on an anti, anti-pasta platter, uh, more of an appetizer, more bite size that you kind of serve on a platter, um, just meal starter. Um, but you can take a look and see, like I chopped uh, everything pre pretty chunky right here. Um, you know, good size, that's a good bite size right here. Um, and also I'm using cauliflower, I've got some bell peppers in here, I've got carrots uh, and celery. And I also added some spicy jalapeno uh, because I, I want a little bit of extra heat with mine, but you can have a totally mild version. And you can also use other ingredients because it's really from the garden. Jardinera means from the garden. So zucchini is very popular, squash, uh, you know, lots of different vegetables that you can use. Um, so overnight, what you do is you'll chop them up, add them to a bowl, just like this, and you're gonna fill it with water and a half cup of salt. And uh, that's your brine. You just refrigerate it for 12 hours or overnight um, to get a nice brine on it. And uh, I got this started, I did this last night, kind of show you right there. And first, so now, uh, next thing is uh, just go ahead and drain. I'm gonna drain it right here. <clears throat> Everything nice and drained. And add it back to the bowl. Okay. Here we go. And the first thing is I'm gonna set this aside just for now. And we're going to make our vinaigrette. Vinaigrette is, is olive oil and vinegar and some seasoning. So what here, I've got um, some chopped garlic, more minced. Set that there. And I have some dried basil. And we have some celery seed. And some black pepper, cracked black pepper. Set that there. And I've got one cup of olive oil. Get this added. And one cup of white vinegar. I like to use a good quality, good vinegar. We're just gonna whisk it all together. And this is gonna add a lot of delicious flavor and uh, it's gonna really preserve our jardinera, our chopped vegetables from the garden. All right, get this going here. Here are my delicious chopped veggies, my excellent vinaigrettes. Set that there. And got myself a Nice spoon, just mix it all together. Mix it all up, my friends. Super easy to do this. The uh, overnight brining adds a nice saltiness to the vegetables, and just overall flavor builder. But, uh, all right, here we go. Boom, there it is, Italian style giardinera. Super easy to do. And again, you can use other vegetables. Show you right here, nice and chunky. Um, all right, so we add this to a uh, few ball jars, a few large jars. And then we're gonna let it sit. You put it in the refrigerator for at least a day, better for like, you know, a few days or a week. Um, everything starts to really marinate and get lots of flavor this way. And we get it in here. Look at that, nice and chunky. All right, so I got, I got a pretty full, pretty full jar there. I can probably mush it down a little bit and kind of take a look at it. Mm, looks good, huh? Um, but uh, it looks like I can fill probably a good two to two and a half of these large ball jars. 
Um, and there you go. So that is the Italian style. So now let me show you how to make the Chicago style jardinera, which is what I grew up with. Okay, for Chicago style jardinera, um, it's very, very similar to Italian style jardinera, uh, but the biggest difference really is that there's a little bit of different seasonings, and uh, it's meant to be more of a condiment that you serve on sandwiches. Uh, so what you really do is you use very similar from the garden ingredients. With Chicago style, it's more of a focus on the peppers, lots of carrots, and uh, very often cauliflower. Some places don't use cauliflower. Um, I've had Chicago style jardinera all over. I mean, I grew up around there, so uh, everyone makes it a little bit different. Um, but you'll take a look and you'll use your chopped vegetables. You'll chop everything very finely so that it'll spread better on a spoon and on your sandwich. And you're gonna brine it. So the same thing, you fill it with water, you have a, about a half, quarter cup to a half cup of salt and brine it overnight covered in the refrigerator to you know, build up some of that flavor and get the saltiness in there. And uh, so I'm using cauliflower for sure. You can skip the cauliflower if you want to. Um, you, I'm using, oh, I'm sorry, I should tell you that. With Chicago style jardinera, you can get hot or mild uh, when you order it. So uh, mild focuses more on milder peppers, you would you know, expect. Uh, bell peppers are great. Um, in Chicago, sport peppers are super popular to be used. Um, I'm using jalapenos and serrano. Serranos are really popular, so we're gonna have a nice hot jardinera here. And uh, I've got everything brined, I did it overnight. And I uh, also have carrots as well, and celery. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. Rid of my brine there. Just set back up. All right, shake it out. Add it all back to the bowl. Looks good already. And we are going to make a vinaigrette just as, befo uh, just as before with the Italian style, but it's a little bit different. So let me set this aside. Get this here. Uh, so for this version of it, I'm using some Fresh garlic right here, fresh chopped garlic. I have dried oregano, and I have some uh, red pepper flakes, chili flake, to give it a little nice extra heat, and I just love chili flakes. Um, and the other thing is, some places in Chicago, they only use olive oil, they don't use vinegar, so it's uh, you know just much more oily condiment. Um, if you're making it at home, I strongly suggest to use vinegar uh, if you want to keep it. If you're going to use it right away, oil is totally fine. Uh, but if you want it to last longer, you can keep it in the refrigerator, uh, use the vinegar and help preserve it. Um, it's also great flavor. So I have a cup of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and you can use other oils. And I have a cup of white vinegar. Put that in there. And we whisk. And you can use other seasonings as well. Uh, celery seed's really nice. Um, for basil's good. You can, use, you can use powders if you want to, but I, I like to use more chopped, uh, like herbs are great. A little, little fresh thyme or dried thyme would be pretty good. All right, get this all mixed together. My amazing vinaigrettes. Add uh, more chili flake, less chili flake. And here we go. Get it added to the bowl. Looks good, looking good already. Just get it all mixed together. And, oh look at that, Jardinera. This is, yeah, this is what I grew up with. Looks awesome, look at that. Check it out guys, hmm? nice and chunky, nice and chunky. And uh, you can chop it as much as you want to. You can even process it a, li a little bit and get it more of a, you know, a spreadable kind of a spread. Uh, this one place I used to go to, I used to have it really finely processed and it was almost like a relish. And I'm like, oh, so delicious, so delicious. Uh, so that's the Chicago style. Um, you'll find this all over like beef joints. It's really popular in beef joints. You know, you get like a good dipped uh, or, or just totally soaked beef sandwich with hot jardinera on it. Oh man, it's so good. But uh, you can use it on other sandwiches, even uh, pizza places like to, you know, sometimes put jardinera on their pizza. Um, so many different ways to enjoy it. Sometimes I'll dump a whole bunch of this stuff into a crock pot and slow cook a, like a, a pork shoulder or a, a beef roast and it just comes out massive flavor. Great for like 
you know, beef sandwiches and stuff and just outstanding. Another super popular ingredient in Chicago style jardinera is olives. So I've got a good half a cup of rough chopped olives that I'm adding to mine. You can skip it if you want, but I like it. Get that added in. Mix it all together. Delicious. So that's how you make Chicago style jardinera. Let me uh, get it put into a jar here for preserving. Keep it in the fridge. This will probably last me a couple of weeks, maybe at the most. I'll, be, I'll chow it down super fast. Patty loves this stuff. It's outstanding. Look at that. Uh, don't, don't use it right away. It's, probably, it's better to wait at least a day. Probably wait, you know, uh, at least a couple days. Um, but I'll, I'll let it sit for a, a good week and just let it marinate in all that awesome flavor. Look at that. Look at that. A little bit more of the oil and vinegar in there. Boom. Delicious. Delicious. That's it. Chicago style jardinera, guys. Looks good, doesn't it? Look at that. Mmm. So that's it, guys. That's how you make jardinera. Jardinera two ways. You've got your Italian style jardinera and you've got your Chicago style jardinera. Um, if you need more vinaigrette to fill up your jars, you can easily whip up more oil and vinegar together, a little bit more seasoning. Um, you can also just use water. I had to add a little touch of water just to, to fill it up and you know, keep, it, keep it topped off. Uh, no big deal at all. Um, and again, you can use different vegetables, especially for the Italian style. Um, again, it's just preserved from the garden, vegetables from your garden. So if you have onions, toss them in there. Nice crunchy vegetables are great. Um, and again, with the Chicago style, you can make it as hot or as mild as you want. In Chicago, you get mild or hot. I always get the hot just because me, you know, I like it spicy. Um, but different peppers are great in here. Sometimes I make this with habanero. I've thrown some ghosts in here before and it was, whoo, -hoo, hello, really hot jardinera. Um, that's hard to find out on the market, but you can make it for yourself. You make it however you want to. Uh, but that's it, jardinera. Hope you guys like it. Let me know uh, if you make it, which one you make or which one you prefer. Do you like Chicago style or do you want the Italian style? Um, I'd love to hear it. So that's it. Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.